We do begin with an unexpected departure at the White House today. President Trump revealing late today that his longtime press secretary, Sarah Sanders, who has defended him for so long, will be stepping down. Her duties often went beyond what we see from a press secretary by the president's side just days ago at Buckingham Palace for dinner with the Queen. But she has also faced criticism, the Mueller report for one, questioning her credibility. So why leave? Why now? ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl, leading us off. An unwavering defender of the president, beloved by his supporters, despised by his enemies, Sarah Sanders is moving on. She's done an incredible job. We've been through a lot together, and she's tough, but she's good. It's one of the greatest jobs I could ever have. I've loved every minute, even the hard minutes. She served Trump for three and a half tumultuous years, recently coming under intense criticism for what she said at a White House briefing shortly after the president fired FBI Director James Comey. The rank and file of the FBI had lost confidence in their director. It gives you such confidence that rank and file within the bureau lost faith in the FBI director. Look, we've heard from uh, countless members of the FBI that say very different things. Special counsel Robert Mueller singled out that comment in his final report, directly raising questions about her credibility. Sanders told this office that her reference to hearing from countless members of the FBI was a slip of the tongue, Mueller wrote. She also recalled that her statement in a separate press interview that rank and file FBI agents had lost confidence in Comey was a comment she made in the heat of the moment that was not founded on anything. Sanders' briefings were often heated and combative as she clashed with the White House press corps. Eventually, she stopped doing them, the last briefing more than three months ago. But as she took a lower public profile, she became one of the president's closest and most important advisors. She is one of the few White House aides who traveled with the president on every single foreign trip he has made, attending his meetings with Kim Jong-un, sitting next to Prince Charles at a dinner with the president just last week in London. And John Carl with us live tonight from the White House. And John, Sarah Sanders has three small children, as we know. She says she's leaving for personal reasons and moving back to Arkansas. We also point out tonight that there's news about another one of the president's top advisors, is uh, Counselor Kellyanne Conway. A federal watchdog, David, has found that Kelly Ann Conway violated or accused her of violating federal law by engaging in political activity on the job. This group has issued a report saying that she should be fired. The White House says that is just not going to happen, and they insist that Kelly Ann Conway has done absolutely nothing wrong. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.